We've seen many video games become major Hollywood motion pictures complete with all of the action and drama. And are you ready for Tetris to do the same? The famous uh, 1980s game of falling blocks will allegedly become a, an epic sci-fi adventure by Threshold Entertainment. Uh, you may know them for the Mortal Kombat movies and you will use that information as you will. <laughs> I'm super excited about this. I don't know why, but the possibilities are, 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 are rampant. Sure? I, well, okay. I have thought of a really crazy. Let me let me run this by you. Okay. okay. Think of. I'm gonna be open-minded. A world where basically these Tetris blocks are, you know, equate to kind of energy cells, and the world runs on these, and they have to constantly be mining them and finding them, or maybe they fall from space, and they have to to line them up to run power to keep humanity alive. Well, how you know, does that it's mechanism? Like, well, it's like it's like Dune. The blocks must flow. I don't think that's a good analogy. Nope. No. Okay. <laughs> then, it, then it's probably going to be terrible. Oh. It's probably. See, probably. I saw this and I thought, is this going to be like Battleship? I was trying not to do that. <laughs> now, the stunts and the, the, some of the visual effects in Battleship were amazing. And you go, what was that movie about? Oh, right, the board game. Yeah. What? And it, yeah. it was kind of, it's sort of kind of related how the game is played through naval combat with and aliens. And the fog of war, you know, they had that like whole radar. Miss yeah. Uh, yeah, we just gotta keep shooting at things, except if you ever actually shoot at the thing, it becomes angry, sprouts a bunch of more ships, and then just murders everyone. That didn't happen I don't in remember the game. That in mind. Uh, but how would this, how would this work? Because, uh, well, actually, well, you don't like my Dune idea. Your idea is actually better than what I envisioned, Let's which was yours, like, yeah. okay, so, Sell me. Go. <laughs> this is going to be no really pressure. Bad. No pressure. Um, okay, so these different warriors have to combine together to stop the world from something bad happening. But can Square get along with the shape that's like this? And what about Straight Line? He's pretty straight edge. Will he fit in? Huh? This oh. is really bad. We will start a campaign. No, I can support you. Hashtag don't be a square. Oh, but what? <laughs> Squares are good shapes. The bad shapes are the ones that are like, Mm -mm -mm. And the other one that's the, the opposite. Zigzag. Zigzag. Like, zigzag. They look like S's or Z's. Z. Uh, well, and it's like you don't you know what to do with them. And then you block up that place you've been saving for the straight line. And then it just starts <laughs> going really fast. And it's like, oh, uh, I made You know a what? They, they better release a trailer soon. Otherwise, we're just going to like start losing our hair out of the anxiety of trying to justify Tetris the movie. I will not be doing Help. that. So, I mean, it's sort of. Okay, Tetris has made a lot of money over the years. Uh, 425 million paid mobile downloads alone, and we're not talking about Ooh. Game Boy, and we're not talking about playing online or any other uh, gaming platform, just on cell phones alone. It's, it's profitable, right? And it's, it's natural for companies these days to want to make a something profitable, even more profitable by putting out related media and other Thing, like merchandise and et cetera. Just, just milk that cow until everybody hates it. Uh, but yeah, that's how I feel about it. I'm lactose intolerant, so I probably won't see I it. used to be, but you know. Anyway, um, I, I can see why they might want to try to capitalize on this. It's fair, yeah. But I don't know that they should capitalize in this way. I feel that everyone's knowledge of a particular topic, like Tetris, and it was my first Game Boy original game. Sure. You know, I think it even came with the Game Boy. But um, but that everyone knows it, it, everyone understands it, everyone at least enjoys it in some aspect. So as soon as you say, hey, you know they're coming out with a live action epic Tetris movie, you go, crap, I'm going to watch that, aren't I? Even if you don't want to, you just, you have to know, like, what does that mean? Like, how do you, because Battleship, you kind of could understand where they could go and whether or not you agreed with how they did. Battleship. Exactly. But like, how does a one person puzzle game, 2D puzzle game, translate to some sort of Hollywood blockbuster with explosions and character development? I do like Mr. Square <laughs> and Mrs. Zigzag having like, kind of like tension. Yeah. You know, maybe they get together in the end. And then her brother, the other opposite zigzag, is the not The opposite into zigzag? It. But you find out at the end that they're actually the same person. Whoa, just flipped. Victor Victoria? Because, yeah, <laughs> these have multiple personality. Oh my God, did we just go Broadway? We just made this happen. We just took this Tetris movie Broadway. Well, they've been very unclear, um, Threshold and the Tetris company, on what's happening. Uh, the Threshold 
Company's president, uh, I'm sorry, chairman Larry Kazanoff has said it's just an epic sci-fi story. H Hank Rogers, managing director of the Tetris Company, says, we look forward to partnering with Threshold Entertainment to reimagine that common experience and bring a spectacular new Tetris universe to the big screen for the first time. Whee! In this new universe, as you'll soon find out, there's much more to Tetris than simply clearing lines. Clearing lines? This is a drug movie. This is a drug movie. It's gonna be a heist. It's a heist! <laughs> Ooh, Tetris is a heist. No, mm. I think that, well, that, that wording makes me think this is gonna be very liminally related to Tetris, though. Like it's only an aspect of the world. This is not going to be a Clue, like we saw in, in a... Oh, that was so good. That was such a good movie, Tim right? Curry. I really liked that movie, but I think that's the only... That's it's only the only a small part, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't work for everything. It doesn't, you, you, when you have characters and you can kind of imagine them, and at least they're people, but with this, it's like, what, what is it? What does it do? What, what are the consequences to not solving this? I don't know. Well, it kind of worked with Tron, how they were able to, whether or not you enjoyed the original Disney movie or even the remake, but the, the very, I think, very successful cartoon series, the animated series mm -hmm. that they did afterwards of taking that, hey guys, we have this thing called light bikes. We want to make a movie about it, and now, God, what, twenty more than twenty years later, it's still like something that's actually cool, and they've been able to kind of build onto all that kind of the mythology and, and the history of everything, and it all kind of worked out. Plus, you got Jeff Bridges, so it's awesome. Yeah, I mean that works, but will this work? Do you trust Threshold to do the job that Disney did? Uh... We'll see. Let us know what you think below in the comments, if this can work, how this can work, why this is working uh, below, and please be sure to subscribe.